Today, I found out exactly how the fuel impacted the generator, ultimately leading to the Walla Walla losing power. I also asked Washington State Ferries why they're certain this won't happen again. Here, this is a, about a 2300 horsepower engine. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a train locomotive engine. Chad Scott has worked in the underbelly of ferries since he was 19 years old. You are on the ferry boat Kaliton. Uh, we're entering the number two engine room. While the Kaliton has differences from the Walla Walla system, there are similarities. This is one of our three ship service generators. Washington State Ferries saying contaminated fuel caused the generator and backup generator to fail April 16th when it ran aground near Bainbridge Island. It gives us all of our, our lights, our hydraulics, Anything that requires power to run comes from uh, these alternators behind it here. Clogged fuel filters going to the generators, and that means that they lost a lot of their electrical systems, including steering and propulsion. Contamination can come from water, rust, algae growth, to even paint particles. We have laboratories testing those fuel samples from then, so we'll figure out where that contamination came from make sure it doesn't happen again. But it doesn't seem like this is a concern with the actual fuel source. We don't know yet. Sterling says the crew had 90 seconds before the Walla Walla was grounded and its quick action is the reason there was minimal damage. Captain Eric Hairston says trust is essential. You have to make sure that that crew is ready to uh, be able to jump into action. Um, that's why we do training weekly. Uh, we do training monthly. We just do a lot of training. None of the 600 passengers and crew on board were injured. The Coast Guard is leading the investigation. If the conditions had been 50 mile per hour winds, it would have been a lot worse. Are you guys sure that this isn't going to happen again? We're confident that it's not going to happen again. We've done a couple of different things, including scouring out that tank and all of the tanks, refilling with fresh fuel, testing that. Now, new gauges have also been installed on the Walla Walla to allow for remote monitoring of the generators. There is no timeline, I'm told, as to when the Coast Guard's investigation will be completed. Live here in Seattle, I'm Kristen Goodwillie, King 5 News.